Good day, friends. Welcome to episode 14 of the Genetic Rim. So today we're going to research geothermal power. We're going to uh, research microelectronics and furthermore dive into the uh, secrets of beehive beekeeping and more genetic uh, projects are bound to happen. Oh, a wolf beaver can haul things. So we're going to uh, accept that this mountain here seems to be massive. I don't know. I could send Orozco to mine deeper here into both directions. Oh, well, maybe I'm going to do that. We are mad scientists after all. So we want to know, is this mountain massive or not? Maybe if I'm lucky, uh, I'm going to uh, create some uh, useful infestation spawn points by doing so as well. Okay. So after this uh, funny little operation, I'll definitely know if there is light at the end of the tunnel or not. <laughs> so I'm low in food, so I want to change something about that today. Um, where's John sitting? Researching, as usual. I'm going to pick up food from smaller animals first. Solar flare is ending. Also, another thing, we're going to harvest even more hive things now. Because I want to do uh, work with them now. So there we go. Swapping over to the revolver because I feel like I'm close range. Revolver is a way uh, stronger weapon. The tortoise went on revenge, so John has to take care. If he doesn't want to end as a tortoise victim. But luckily he didn't uh, fall prey to the deadly tortoise. Oh, sorry. Can't, can't help myself, okay? <laughs> so, Sparks is uh, the other hunter I have. So I'm sending him off for the boom rat. I started to hunt manually a lot during the last few, uh, during the last time because I've recently uh, came to the decision that most of the time I'm not happy with uh, how my uh, colonists hunt in general. Like they hunt so inefficiently if you don't micromanage them, it's a pain. Uh, have Sparks grab some bite to eat, but uh, also haul that broom red. Thank you. So, um, are there any other animals I can hunt? I mean, in larger uh, scaled colonies, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, when you have enough hands, you can't just let them hunt automatically. But, uh, well, I don't know. I also started to enjoy... Uh, controlling them and uh, let, letting them hunt animals. So, let's hunt that squirrel. We're not even low on food anymore. Look at that. Okay, so Sparks is lighting it up. I'm okay with that. Here's a platypus. Should be hunting that guy. And a bunch of what's Galimimus. Oh man, I don't even know half of these uh, uh, dinosaurs. Okay, so I'm putting these out for auto hunt. Let's see. I hope I won't regret it. Okay. So how much uh, skill did, did it give to Orozco? Yeah, well, a little bit. He's learning a lot by uh, digging out that mountain completely. Alright. I love it when they go for a hunt in the middle of the night and then realize, oh, it's too late, let's go home. Um, I'm not accepting that, John. You went for that, you go for that. Such a waste of time if you don't do it like you want to. There we go. Okay. 
Alrighty. The rat fellow is sleeping in the mining tunnels. Hmm. I'm going to forbid that mining tunnel later on, because it's just something for in between. Oh, no, something for exploration, much more. Okay. The refinery doesn't have power. So, well. Here we go. Some power conduits for that. What can we do here? Chem fuel from wood, chem fuel from organics, chem fuel from cryofuel, whatever cryofuel is, fossil fuel, oil, produce oil from shale, laminated wood, mixed plastic. All right. Neutroamine from neutroglycerin. Do I have neutroglycerin? I do have neutroglycerin. So we're going to make neutroamines from neutroglycerin always. Step one. All right, so let's watch Sparks hunting that platypus. And there goes an eclipse. My steel resources uh, have went quite low by now. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. They're hunting inefficiently. It's not that hard to do that, but uh, if you're um, not using your weapons ranges uh, well, you're really in for a hard time with hunting. Like, on that high distance, the uh, cannon was uh, only having a 5% uh, hit chance, so Sparks was uh, shooting, like, forever. But luckily, I do know how my guns work. Most of the time, that is. Alright. Still curious if we will hit some valley uh, during the mining here, but it doesn't seem like it, honestly. Meteorite shower. Okay, what did we get? Some blue skiss, some Emperador dark, some Garnet, and some coal. That's a really big amount of Garnet. Alright, wonderful. Having a nice red tone. Okay. But apart from a few slate chunks, there's been nothing up here. Okay, big old mountain, eh? So, John is suffering from tattered apparel. His hoodie is quite worn. This guy is wearing a hoodie? Is he 20th century or what? Okay, uh, we're going to mine out this place, and I'm going to mine out another place, something like that. Alright. So the question is, can I already make hoodies? I don't think so. No. Make a repair kit. Allows the wearer to salvage parts. <clears throat> I should be using that for Aaron and uh, Nicholas. So we're having now geothermal power. Let's research microelectronics and uh, immediately use the tech prof subpersona core. And I'm going to make one of those repair kits. We're, have, we're done with the microelectronics, just like I wanted to. And I want to go into genetic research. And I want to research the insectoid and reptilian genomes as quick as possible, because uh, they're just uh, lacking right now. I miss them. I really want them. Okay. Why is John fishing? Like, seriously, come on, man. 
better things to do. Let's uh, delete that fishing zone. So Sparks is doing the research, the repair kit. Yeah, that's good. And Nicholas is finally finally cutting rocks again. Wonderful. Alrighty. I'm still having two spots left in the colony, that's really a good feeling. So, oh, cat jeans. Rodent with cat, we don't have that yet. So, uh, we're going to, to go for that. So, there we go. There's some raccoon. We can take the the genes from the from that guy. Ooh, the dad, a dead deer. Okay. I'm going to send Nicholas for a butcher, a little late night butchering job. I'm going to draft my little uh, my little friends here, and we're going to do a late night, a a a early morning hunt. Here we go. So going to extract cat genes right away for something something happens which I don't want to happen there we go so I started to uh, do my thing very early in the morning today but that's okay I just wanted to make sure that this uh, um, deer doesn't uh, go to waste because uh, it's good food it's really good food. And the cat jeans. Oh, well, we don't need to talk about the cat jeans here. Alright, so Aaron and Ratfollow 2 have formed a bond. Aaron has named him Bentley. Alright. So, Bentley the Ratfellow. Hi. Alright. So, I'm going to need a few more uh, rodent jeans as well. So I'm going to let John relax a little bit, but uh, afterwards, work calls, my friend. Hey, Bentley. How are you, your little rascal? Or such. So, Sparks is uh, now carrying that repair kit. And... No, you're not wearing that repair kit. Um... That one's for Erin because she's uh, my main builder, and uh, these things might make you a little bit slower. But construction speed plus twelve percent, success chance plus twelve percent. It's really good. Or no, I don't need a second one. Let's uh, stop that idea. It'll only make them uh, do uh, act pretty stupid. So. I'm going to make a med kit here. That's what I'm going to do. That med kit will be on Akio, I guess, because Akio is uh, pretty much always the person um, first up on the front. But uh, right now I'm not having any cloth, so that has to wait a while. All right, with the microelectronics technology, I'm able to build a comms console. The comms console will live. Uh, here in the uh, middle of our colony for trade with orbital traders we're going to drop down some orbital trade beacons as well in here too All right. so 
I'll just wait until Nicholas here is done. Let him repair that uh, smelter. Um, let him eat something. Because I'm uh, forcing him into the smelter now for a few days. Uh, not for a few days, for a few hours. For a few days if necessary. Okay, there we go. Because as nice as it might be that he's uh, cutting stones like a boss, um, we're needing steel right now. Much, much, much more. Oh, I've uh, accidentally mined into a clay deposit. So what can I do with that clay? Okay, I should be able to use that on a kiln. No, I don't. Strange sinkhole. Whoa! Okay. Okay, so we're needing to destroy that stuff. Oh man, this is uh, some uh, very unhappy uh, event here. Okay, so there's uh, some crazy monster spawning out of that. That's a uh, Chthonian. Chthonians are powerful borrowers which can live for more than a thousand years and are protective of their young. It is said that a chanting sound accompanies every Chthonian and that by such they can be detected while underground and unseen. So we're going to focus our efforts now on that monster worm. Luckily that monster worm is quite slow. But apart from that, these things are really friggin' spooky. Huh. Its move speed on paper is way higher than it is... Uh, oh. It just had a low move speed before it went into fight, I see. So, uh, this f friggin' thing destroyed my rat fellow immediately. Kill it! Oh, damn it. It's retreating, so. I'm going to order, uh, Kyo to save my animal here. I really need to get rid of the Chthonian here. Okay, this guy is freaking spooky. He starts going for my donkey now. Oh man. And now for my hauler. No, not my robot! Not my robot! No! <clears throat> Sorry. This really, uh. I really take that one personally. Killing my robot really made me angry. So, the Chthonian won't die just from uh, the damage we did there. This is really concerning me a little bit. Okay. Oh, John's not really fighting here. Damn. What a waste of power here. So... I want the... Uh, quicker weapons here. So I still have a Chthonian in my base, though. But at least we're getting rid of the sinkhole now. Okay, that's step one. What are we going to do about the Chthonian in there? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe uh, this is a good. Maybe this is a good moment to get rid of that guy. K. 
Okay, maybe not. Maybe the donkey is just dead. Oh man. I don't really know what to do with this guy because uh if I just uh go in there, he will uh charge again towards my enemies and just kill us. Cute melee attacking sparks. Wonderful. He's just not able to leave the room. That's the whole reason why we're not dying. So I don't know what to do next. Like If I just charge towards that guy, I guess he'll just kill us. But on the other side, though, this thing is also very, very uh, roughed up at this point. So I don't want to let him heal up or anything like that, you know. So also, I want my uh, my animals back. So we're going to do this. I have a plan in mind. So, heal your... Definitely not tending to the donkey there. So, can we release animals? Yes, we can. Okay, that's good. So, we're going to open that door. Is it on hold open? Yes, it is. Okay. So, the thing is on Akio right now. So, I just hope we're able to kill that thing now. So, let's check my weaponry. Everybody's on his strongest weapons. No, they're not. Oh, I guess this thing is not able to be stunned. Uh, guessed as much. Okay. I want to send in Eren as well, because I don't want to waste any... Uh, Firepower on that guy. Even if it puts Eren into risk here. Okay, so. My wolf beaver is dead now. But uh, the Chthonian should be uh, dying any moment. I hope, that is. But I have to say, I already gave this thing a lot of damage. Ugh, oh, fun with Lovecraftian monsters, I gotta, I gotta tell ya. Man, my donkey though, tanks this thing like a boss. Okay, faction lost city of Gaharn. Wonderful. This thing has a faction. So we're going to butcher this fellow though. So I'm going to do a new quest and uh, quest. I'm going to allow the butchering of Chthonian corpses corpses. Once. I don't want to uh um Uh, extract genes out of this guy because I have uh, the faint hope that uh, intracranial pressure. What the hell? Because um, I have to hope that uh, this guy will drop some interesting leathers. And I was right. A shooting star. A shooting star just crossed the sky, followed by a distant rumbling. What could it? Be that just fell out of the sky. Okay, I didn't. I don't know that event yet. Okay, a crash site. Oh right. <laughs> um. My poor wolf beaver, Veronica. So. We're going to tend to these people. And, uh... Chthonian strips. Well, that doesn't sound healthy to me. But Chthonian Kitin should be, uh, a very... Oh my goodness. This looks like a good, uh, material. 
So let's check out some duster made of made out of Cothonian Cathin. So this is normal cloth. So where's the monster material here? So not much sharp armoring, but a good blunt on and heat armoring. Okay, not that impressive overall, honestly. But uh, quite costly though. I'm really sad about the loss of my wolf beaver, but, uh, well, I'm quite happy that, uh, we didn't, uh, suffer any bigger losses. I'm very, very, uh, sad about the loss of my hauler, though. Repair robot. <gasps> oh, I can repair him! Oh, awesome. Just need some crafting skill here. There we go. Oh, wonderful. So we can just rebuild our little oh, robot. Oh, gosh. I'm relieved. Well. Okay, so in the end, I've only lost one animal to this monster. And, con and considering w how much of a monster it was, maybe, maybe it's not that horrible after all. So, um, John, would you? Come on, give it a try. What's happening with you if you eat that stuff? I won't be killing him, I'm sure. So, uh, eight raw food, okay. Sanity loss. Hmm. Didn't look like it, uh, did something bad with him, honestly. Okay. I'm still low on food, sadly. Yeah, well. I mean, I wanted to uh, send John after all again for some things. Alrighty, so we're going to pick up that wild pawn here. I need some food. Alright, could have hunted that guy with a revolver all the time. For some reason I, uh... I thought that this guy was uh, a revenge animal, but uh, obviously it isn't. Okay. So once all the yuck has been cleaned out, We're going to build our tailoring shop in here. And apart from that, I'll need some... There we go. I'll need some squirrel. Because I want to check out... Uh, the combination of a cat with a uh, rodent. Alrighty, so we're going to need rodent genes and an empty incubator. So there we go. 
I'm really happy that Akio is now uh, working uh, for us as well here in the research department because I feel like it really helps a lot having him here. There we go. Oh, we're not even able to uh, do anything here. Man, okay. Going to refine a single time here at the smelter because I don't have a enough steel to do an incubator here. Wow. So uh, tomorrow I'll send Nicholas to d do more cr uh, to do more steel. The attack of the Chthonian, uh threw me a little bit out of my plans here. It's okay. So, Cat Rodent. I want to do the Cat Rodent. John, please proceed. Alright. My cat, my rat fellows are not uh, grown, uh, grown yet, out yet. I'm waiting for them to be adult animals. Because I'm really curious about their uh, actual stats in terms of carrying capacity and stuff like that. And uh, Erin is uh, working bravely on the stones, even though she's really bad at it. Constructors shouldn't be mining if they're not good at it. Okay. So, Orozco is not completely done with the tailoring shop yet, but uh, tomorrow he'll be. And then we're going to go deeper into the mountain. Okay. Tomorrow is steel smelting day. Wait a sec, my hauling bot is mining? Interesting. I didn't know they are able to do that. Okay. So Nicholas, prepare for a day full of smeltering. Already very very curious about the uh, new animal. So the B room is not ready yet, sadly. I'm just looking for some wild foraging spots wherever I can. But it seems to me like I need to uh, hunt something bigger now to uh, keep my colony fed. So I'm sending John and Sparks today. Or we're actually going for that Parasaur down there. This guy is an armored dinosaur, isn't he? No, a normal dinosaur. Okay. A pack of man-hunting ducks. Okay, whatever. Uh, so, John and uh, Sparks are not uh, needed anymore. Um, we can already uh, go here and fight it out. The man-hunting ducks are coming. Brace yourselves. So, this is a... Pretty nasty fight, honestly, so... Oh, Roscoe will take a few days until he uh, gets there. So we're going to hold open those doors. Mm. 
Boom, we're going to tank it up here. And of course, we're now releasing the animals. Alright, so Eren is up front for us. But yeah, this will uh, solve my food problem for sure. Alright. So that's a lot of ducks, isn't it? Nice. Problem solved. Okay, so Akio is now on the butchering spree, I guess. And I have a large surplus of bird skin now. That's good. So, probably gonna do something nice out of that. Okay, my my animals fought well for me. Okay, John is treating Aaron. Wonderful. And Akio is uh, doing the butchering and giving a party. I guess Akio just realized that we're having ducks for a duck for days, and now uh, he's throwing a duck party. Oh, also, I don't need to uh, hold these doors open anymore. That was a short party. So let's wait it out until tomorrow. They're lighting up some reefers. Well, I love. I I can only approve. Like it's been a it's been a hard time. And uh, seeing a pack of man hunting ducks attack attack your colony, well, I'm I think it's understandable. Cat rabbit kitten. Okay. We're having a cat rabbit. This long-eared cat breeds extremely fast and is intelligent enough to be trained in the most basic sense. Like all cat hybrids, they have an improved melee dodge ability, which in the case of these small animals is ideal to get out of a fight in a short nozzle period. Very fast breeding. Okay. Intermediate trainability. So I guess uh, this one will serve more as a mascot. I love it. I love this hauler bot so much. He's such a very, very valuable, and he was such a valuable investment for my colony. I know that I uh, it, it took most of my money back then, but I haven't. Uh, re I didn't regret that decision a single time. Okay, so Erin is uh, training her animal skill. I like that. She's not really good at, it, but uh. I mean, not good at it in terms of passion, but uh, at least she's trying to. Okay, wonderful. My little rat fellows are, are growing out quite good. And uh, apart from that, can I get some bird genes? Well, there's another rat we can take rat genes out of that for sure there's a dead raccoon I'll definitely take that and there are donkeys down there okay So, Orozco is uh, continuing the uh, deep mining job. Oh look, the stone turned green.
Oh, the Lurzelite is also way harder than the other uh, stone types. Okay. Almost double the uh, HP compared to the other ones. But I really like that color of that stuff. Okay, it's been only a short vein here. Well, and then we go back to the Lures of Light. I've just decided that I'm going to force Orozco to uh, finish this job today. Like, I really want to know what's at the end of the road here. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing. doesn't have food in his pack. Oh, whatever. So, come on, Nicholas. We need somebody at the refinery. I'm a little bit low on steel here in general. Things are getting done quite slowly. But uh, that's mainly because nobody is operating the smelter regularly enough, sadly. But hey, at least we're having a lot of duck meat here. Or do we? Wait a sec, do these guys... Where's the bird leather to them? Medical goods trader, okay. They're not dropping any leather? Sick, okay. Okay. That's something I didn't expect. <laughs> Anyways, friends, it's time to roll the credits. Um, we've made some nice progress here, fought off some ducks, which we're eating right now, as we're speaking. And yeah, feel free to drop me a comment, some thumbs up, or even a subscription if you want to support my, my work a little bit more. If not, just let me say thanks for watching, and I hope you come for the next one as well, when we do more monsters. Like, we're, we're really on a slow start here, please uh, forgive me, but, uh, well, the Chthonian was really spooky, and uh, we're still researching our way up with our options. So, see you guys next time. Goodbye.